Hey everyone, this is Toya Montana, and I'm live with y'all today with the story time and also with the basically come cook with me. So, while I'm cooking, I'm gonna be telling y'all the story time about uh, when I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina, which I just moved here back in July, and um. How I moved here and was evicted from my place in five months, my <laughs> apartments, and I'm cooking. I'm gonna be cooking some stuffed peppers. It's gonna be my first time making it, and these are all the ingredients we need: onions, peppers, ricotta cheese, eggs, parmesan, cheeses, more cheese. I love cheese. Tomato paste, diced tomatoes. That. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Because everyone who I see does, they use white rice. But I think I want this on the side. Not sure. And, of course, this to make garlic bread. So, that's what we're using. And welcome along. So, can I start or just keep going? Keep going. Okay. Put me there. So, first thing first, we need to cut these peppers. However, I think I'm going to cut them and I'm going to slice them in half. Let me get this. I think I'm going to slice them in half. recorded for us now oh and also don't forget this is the meat we're using i already had this done out this is mild but i really like spicy but i guess it didn't have spicy that's why i bought that turn it around journey so you can say hey <laughs> you talking to you mm -hmm. that's my daughter journey so i don't know how many i'm gonna do i probably won't do all of them Peppers. And mind you, I'm going to slice the mine in half. Um, hold on. That might was, didn't make sense. Yeah, that probably didn't make sense to do it like that. <laughs> And make sure you rinse it off when you're using it. Okay, so this is basically what happened, y'all. So, um, Last year, round about, I well, know I guess that's going to be all right because it's going to come out. So anyway, last year, um, I was living in Virginia. I actually was living in Suffolk, Virginia. And the beginning of the year, someone broke into my home. Uh, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, but good thing my friend was staying with me and she was sleeping on the couch. And when they heard her holler, they ran away. So then... Later on that year, um, because me and my kids would never really be home. So what happened was my son, my youngest son, came home one day and said, Ma, I think somebody shot through the window. And I'm like, what? He was like, yeah, I think somebody shot through our um, window. Now, I was standing in the townhouse, so his room was upstairs in the front of the house. My room was downstairs, and then my daughter's, their room was in the back of the house so he sent me pictures i go home and i'm like what is going on yes there's a, a um gunshot in the boy's window it was in the window it went from the window to the um through the hall and the bullet landed in the kid's bathroom so i called the police they came they said yes there's definitely a bullet you know they took pictures, they got everything. And at that point, 
you know, I hit up my rent office and I'm telling them, you know, what else happened? And I'm like, listen, I need to move. What do I have to do to move? They say, just give me a 15 day notice and you will be fine because of, you know, everything I was going through. I even told them about when I had, um, when someone broke into my home because I made a police report that night too. So that was that. Well, um, so kind of found out, you know, so I'm like, I, I was looking for places, looking for places, looking for places, riding around online, could not find anywhere. In Virginia, I mean, like, <laughs> in the seven cities where I was living at, couldn't find anywhere. And I just did not understand. So my oldest daughter, she goes to school at Greensboro. Um, she goes to college. And she said, well, and she also has grandparents and stuff that live in Charlotte. She said, Mom, well, why don't you move down there? Come down here. Come to Charlotte. So I said, okay, I'll come look. Mind you, I always wanted to move to Charlotte. Just always wanted to do it. <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to cut this up and put this inside um, the food. You don't want to waste anything. If you can use it, use it. Okay. So, I said, okay, well, I'm going to come down here. So, at this point, I don't tell anybody. What I did was I called her grandparents. They said, yeah, come down here. You come down here whenever. Didn't tell them what I was coming down there for. Just was coming to visit. So, came to visit. We started to go look at places. We looked at some. We looked at about four apartments. So, the apartment that I got to... Um, I decided, you know, okay, I like them. I put in, you know, they had a special going on. Um, something about you get $2,000 back or something. But you don't really get the money yourself. You're like, they can take it off your rent or whatever. So, that's basically what happened. Did the application. The lady called me back 30 minutes later. It was like, you was approved. So, I said, okay. Cool, so... Um, I get back to Virginia. I still don't tell nobody anything. So finally, two days later, I get a phone call. She was like, oh, we're waiting for um, your current landlord to send us something, you know, about your window history with them. And this, that, and third. So I said, okay, no problem. She was like, so I should send you the welcome letter by tomorrow. Well, about 6 p.m., about 5.30 to 6 p.m., I get the welcome letter. The same day. So I'm like, oh, thank you so much. You know, I'm like, oh, thank you, Lord. You know, because everything just, it was just so smooth. The whole transition, everything was just so smooth. So finally, I tell everybody, I tell my mama, I tell my kids, my friends. I said, oh, we're moving. We're moving to Charlotte. I already signed the lease. They're like, what? Now I've been telling my kids that we were going to move to Charlotte forever. Let me keep I've been telling my kids that we were going to move to Charlotte forever, like, ever since they were little. We just never did it. So, finally, now we're cutting up the onion. And I really love onions and green peppers. I can put it in and everything, anything I eat. So, they're like, what? So, I said, yeah. So, anyway, find me a company. You got to move me. Got rid of whatever stuff I didn't want, which was basically everything, because I only bought my boys' bump beds down here. Not even their beds, just their bump beds. And, um, so I decided to do that. And, um, so I told my boys to so decide to come on down or whatever. Move here. So, I don't know if they thought I was playing or what, but hmm, I was dead serious. And like I said, maybe because, you know, I've been saying for so long that we were going to move here and we never did. You know, so maybe they was a little skeptical. But then my boys, they're 15 and 17. And my daughter's is 20 and 9. So... Y'all, I ain't let this thaw out all the way, so 
it's kind of like thawed out all around it. So just get rid of this, thaw it out. So the rest of this is frozen, so I'm gonna just put that over there. I'm gonna save it for later, probably throw it away because I already thawed it out once or twice. Okay. And like this. I'm just going to add the whole thing. Maybe that. Okay, that's good. I'll save the rest of that. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay. I'm doing my stuff pepper. You can keep it that way. You can keep it that way. Y'all, I'm doing my stuff pepper. I don't know how I want to do it. Not maybe, because I've seen other videos and people make this how they want to make it. And listen, I feel like when it comes to food, you just make it whatever you want to make it. However you and your family make it. A lot of times there's no right way, there's no wrong way. Little Creole. Add a little bit of that. Mm. I got me some garlic powder. Add garlic powder to everything. You can never have too much garlic powder. The single salt. I wish I had some more slightly warmer. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to buy some of that. I got to get me some more. Single salt. Add a little bit of that. And guys, this is going to be like the easy way. I feel like my way is going to be an easy way. Because I'm not going to be able to do this all the way. I'm going to be just mix in the meat. So anyway, back to the story. So we move. Now, I got my place probably the fourth. I think I got my lease on the second of July, something like that. And um I signed it online. So I was in Virginia when I signed it. But I didn't physically come down until maybe the week after that to come pick up my kids and stuff. And to move, you know, bring my kids down here. We just moved some stuff in the car that day. So, listen. The very first, okay. So, the first day I'm there, my downstairs neighbor, you know, we get stuff out of the car. He comes up to me. He says, hey, I'm such and such. I'm your downstairs neighbor. How are you? So, I introduced myself. My kids, they introduced themselves. He was like, well, nice to meet you. I'm just letting you know I'm your downstairs neighbor. Now, mind you, I was on the third floor. And the actual apartment that I moved into was the apartment that I saw when I did my walkthrough. So, now, I don't know why I would move on the third floor. Because, first of all, who is taking a whole bunch of groceries and stuff upstairs on the third floor? It's just too much. So anyway, I moved in, moved on the third floor. The next following day, I get a phone call from the leasing office and they say, hey, we know you're just moving again, but we got a complaint about Lois. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I say, okay, well, like you said, we're just moving in, so there's no quiet way to move in. Mind you, I don't even have no furniture or anything yet. The only thing I got is whatever we could take in the car, which was like clothes. I think I bought like one TV, one or two TVs. Um, and, that's, and the kids. It was two. It was two TVs? Okay. So that was that, right? Honey. I said what I said. She said, oh, no, no biggie. Whatever, whatever. So I said, okay. I said, okay. So, we didn't stay there the whole week. 
We probably stayed there for maybe we did stay there for a week or five days, something like that. And so y'all, I'm saving this meat, but the other meat I'm gonna put that away because you know that's all we thought out one tap for. <sighs> so I'm gonna put this in the freezer to save it. So, boom, that's that. So, I got a phone call. No, an uh, email. Before we go back to Virginia, I get an email stating about noise again. And I'm like, wait a minute, because I've been living in, I've lived in apartments all my life. I've never had any problem, any, you know, issues with noise or anything. So at this point, like, I'm going to just aggravate it. So I called over there and it's like, no, it's really nothing. Um, you know, we're just letting you know. The first time it, it was just like a, we're just letting you know, but you know, so this is really your first warning. That's what they said. Because the email said second. It was my second warning. So, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm like, okay, whatever. So, when we went back, we didn't come back for like two weeks later. When we went back to Virginia. Well, when we came back from Virginia, it, at this point, we never got furniture. We got guys moving us in. We got back. I got a call. I got a, another email about the noise complaint. I would leave and go, we would leave and go to Virginia for like weeks at a time. Sometimes we would be in Virginia for two weeks. Sometimes we would be there for three weeks. Well, every time I would be home, I would get a noise complaint. Literally, every time. I'm talking about one time, my son was going up the stairs in the apartment complex. And the guy opened his door and was like, you need to stop running up the stairs. And my son was like, are you talking to me? And the man slammed the door. First, and then kind of found out that he called the office about that too. How can you tell him how to go up and down the stairs because you can't run? That ain't got nothing to do with him. So I'm at this point, I'm getting very aggravated, very irritated. So the last time they sent me an email, I so okay, one time they sent, so I go over there and I talk to the least of people, and I'm like, listen, what's going on here? Because I'm not understanding. First of all, I mean, they had said something about some quiet hours or something. I don't know nothing about that. So I'm like, what is going on here? But when you drain the grease, y'all gonna run hot water for the grease when it's going down. So I'm like, I don't know anything about some quiet. I don't know quiet time. Like I'm not, I'm not a child. I'm not a child who's going woman. You can't tell me how to be quiet or whatever. They were like, yes. We have quiet hours here. It's from 9 p.m. to 6 a.m. Whatever, whatever. I'm like, what? Then they even told me, well, I think if if you wear heels or something, that could you please not wear them in your house? How you gonna tell me what the weather around here paying 15.79 in rent, and you gonna tell me not to wear heels? Where y'all gonna take the meat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now. You want to tell me? Hold on, watch out. Not to wear no heels. First of all, I don't need to wear heels. Let me try that stuff on. Mm -mm. But what you're not going to do is tell me that I can't wear them. So. So that's that. So finally, all right, so we're going to make that a little more. We're gonna add some of this to it. Oh, I didn't know we had stuff in that drawer. Mm -hmm. I don't think I never. She was out of town for a long time. She just got back. So, a lot of stuff she just seen. I don't wanna put too much. I 
think it was in this pinch. So anyway, it was just a bunch of back and forth. Like I even told him, I said, at this point, I feel like I'm being harassed. I feel like I'm being harassed from the people downstairs. I feel like I'm being harassed from y'all in this office. And, you know, I, I don't, I don't like it at all. Like, every time I'm home, there's a problem. So, I get an email saying, oh, we don't want you to think we're taking sides. Now, mind you, the man never called the police or anything. We got security, never called them. The people never came to my house or anything. We don't want you to think we're taking sides. Because we're definitely not doing that. That's what they were going to take we're definitely not doing that. I say, yeah, uh-huh. And so forth and so forth. So, me being me. Uh-huh, okay, whatever. Oh, and they also said that they told him to call the police. It would make it so much noise. So, I'm like, with everything that's going on nowadays, you're going to tell him to call the police? <laughs> like, really? Okay, cool. So, um... He never calls anybody. So finally, in December, matter of fact, it's December. Um, put my oven on. Um, so I don't hear nothing else from them. Then mind you, that was in October. Yeah, that was in October. Y'all, if I had a, some sugar, I would put a little bit of sugar in there just to cut that tart taste, but it'll be fine. So, that was in October. So, December the 3rd, I went and paid my rent. And I went and paid my rent. And I believe, I don't know which day December 3rd was actually on. However, I know that just a little bit of that. So it can thicken this up. Don't need too much of that tomato paste. So, however, the seventh was that Monday. So that Monday, me, my daughter, and my aunt were getting ready to go to the store. And my daughter opens the door. My nine-year-old now, the one recording, opens the door and she says, Come on, it's a letter on the door. So I get the letter, and then it's about 5.30, 6 o'clock. So I get the letter. Mm -hmm. And the letter says, that they was giving me our candy. So now this is what I do with this ricotta cheese, y'all. This is how I incorporate it. I was doing like a lasagna for my father, I used the whole thing. But I'm gonna have some of these, some. Yeah, egg. I was doing like a lasagna, I'm using the whole bunch. I'm using more than one egg, but I'm gonna have some. Yeah, I'm gonna put the rest of the parmesan in here. Yeah, I'm gonna mix, mix, mix. I used to have a bigger bowl. <laughs> Yeah, 
Dump them in there before it's, before they're ready. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> Y'all, I look a mess, and I just decided to do this like out the blue. I don't know why. You know, I just decided to do it. Record this video. You know, we on quarantine. It wasn't that. <laughs> Okay, it's on me. Why not? Why not? Okay, look at this. So this is our mix that's going to be going inside the peppers. The peppers, the peppers. Now, I'm going to add this ricotta cheese. Like I said, my stuffed peppers are not going to be like everyone else's that you see up here because they is going to definitely be the bomb. Girl, your family going to be thanking you and your man. <laughs> okay. So, and I love, love, love cheese. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love cheese. Okay, so I'm going to some of my so, I'm going to take that one. Take this and put it inside. Put it on the side. Put it on the side. I just feel like you could just never have too much cheese. I'm sorry. Cheese is like a life. I just love it. I'm so hungry. Can't wait till it's done. Don't worry about me putting my mouth on it, y'all. We are COVID free. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now you can use whatever kind of cheese you want to use. But I had to show y'all that trick that I be doing with my um ricotta cheese because I do that when I make lasagna too. You should make homemade lasagna after this. Oh. And after that. Y'all see, of course that cheese didn't melt it. Woo! Eat this piece. I show mine. This thing is so good. It ain't missing nothing. Mm -hmm. Y'all see that sauce? And it smells good too. Ooh. It look good. It smells good. Ooh. Okay, wait. I'm excited. Okay, come over here show me the water. Okay, y'all see the water? It's in there. It's boiling. So we're gonna put these in there. They call them blanching it. <laughs> Whatever that means. So we're gonna leave them in there for a few minutes. Let them do what they do. Come so boiled, then we're gonna do the other one. Y'all, this really smells good. Like, no lie. Oh, look at that cheese. Ooh. Never had too much cheese. Ooh. So right now, let me start getting this stuff on. Okay, back to the story. Boom. So, okay, so I get a letter on the door. It's on Monday, on the Monday, December 7th, and the letter says, um, we are asking that you um, leave the premises 
by now it's December 7th, January 7th, due to a breach of contract. C section something, something, something. So, so I'm like, what? Man, the people are closed. So I can't call over there because you know it's a bad thirty six party closed. So they call themselves putting the note on the door before they left, so I couldn't, you know what I'm saying? Sneaking, do it. So they sneaking and doing or whatever they find themselves doing. Say less. So, okay. you know, you put the aluminum foil on the bottom. So if anything drip, it doesn't get dirty and it don't burn. So, I'm at this point, I'm living. Like, I'm like, I know, I know they playing. I know they playing. Send an email. They get back with me the next day. Say, oh, because I keep having noise complaints. So basically, say, because I won't follow directions. That's just what they tell me. Can I shut up? Y'all see how I'm wasting your thoughts? Don't feed your kids after my I had them. Never even did that when they were babies. It's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so they're gonna tell me. So I said, at this point, y'all told the man to call the police. He never called the police. He never called our security. So at this point, it's just hearsay. It's word of mouth, like, and anybody can say anything. Girl, like I was hot. So, but also, now, and then I'm like, if that was the case, y'all should have gave me my. Y'all should have not took my money. When I move, like you should have said, you should have took the client my rent. Like that's just how I felt. They should have declined my rent. Why would you take my money? You want me out? Now y'all had a fourteen month lease. My lease wouldn't have been up until um, September of this year, twenty twenty one. So I'm pissed. I just paid sixteen something because. They add the um, water bill into it too. So, and then you come to me with this foolishness, girl. You should have let me keep my ad. It's December. Everything that's going on, what? It's, it was also what? Christmas time? Mm -hmm. It was um, it was Christmas time, New Year's, all that. And furthermore, it's a pandemic. Who has the money to be moving? And my money I had saved up, I moved there. It costs to move and everything. So basically, they didn't give a, you know what, about me, my family, or my kids, none of us. And, and it said, if we didn't move, they could possibly evict us. Because mind you, it wasn't an eviction. That's what she said. It's not an eviction. We're just asking you to move. Oh, I know it ain't no eviction. I can stay in here. Then what pissed me off is because I'm around here paying rent every month, making sure I pay all the time, never pay late, none of that. And I know people had started not paying rent there because... I moved there in July. In November, they were sending out emails saying rent due in bold letters. Make sure you pay your rent. Make sure you, you pay your rent. Like, we got like a community tab that we put it up there. So I said, oh, these people must not be paying their rent. Girl. And for me to be paying rent, y'all don't do like that. I said, okay. So I was very upset. I was upset for a while. Like, so finally, I found, I said, okay, I'm going to go start looking for somewhere because I'm not going to give them another dime of my money. I could have stayed there. They could have did any, they could have did anything. My other lady. They could have done anything. So, but I said, I don't want to give them another dime. And I meant what I said. Found me a house, nice house. Rent cheaper than what I was paying at that apartment. Um, it's bigger, it's 2,000 square feet, <laughs> like, house is really nice, like, I, I mean, just nice, 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 love it, huge kitchen, as you can see, huge, and you know my table, my table is huge itself, formal, um, living room, um, a regular living room, loft, three bedrooms, two and a half bath, two car garage, you know, my little outside space in the back, like, I just say all this. Let me get on my house tour. Not right now. I just say all this to say that what's for you is for you. Don't 
get all upset or whatever else. I mean, you know, because people are not doing you the way you feel like they should be treating you or, or however else. Don't get all upset about that because God got you. He already knew what was going to happen. He already knew because he had more for me from the beginning. But I was so fast and, you know, I got down here. And I was just glad, you know, I really, I did like that apartment. You know, it was an open space, it was three beds, two bath, no privacy, because you could hear everything somebody else was doing, it was, ugh, it was just a lot. Um, and that was that. But, you know, that wasn't what God had for me, he had more for me. And I am so glad that I got <laughs> what he had for me. And... You know, my family, you know, me and my kids, because that's it. Because those people really did not care. They did not care. They did not care about no proof, no, um, because he had no proof. He never did anything. He never called our security, never called the police or none of that. I would have felt better had he did that because with the rent office people, you could tell them anything. But if you call the police and keep calling the police that lying, then you would get in trouble. So I guess he was smart not to do that. He knew he knew him and his wife. They knew better to do that though. And you know that's just that. But whatever God has for them, God has for them. Because one thing for sure, two things for certain: God don't play about me at all. Do not play about me. And they're going to learn that. And. Yes, I was very upset. I was upset for a while. Like, I was upset for a while. Like, I really, really felt some type of way. I might have too many peppers because I ain't going to cook all that meat. But that's the part. It's called stuffed peppers, right? So we're going to stuff these bad boys. Y'all look at this, get into it. Give them a close up of this meat, gentlemen. And yes, I cut some of them sideways and some of them the other way. Ooh. It's gonna be some good eating here, I tell you that. So anyway, I mean, what do y'all think? How would y'all have handled the situation? Because technically, I didn't have to move because they couldn't put me out. Like they would have had to take me to court, and I would have been in there for months. You know, waiting on the judge to decide whatever. But like I said, I was determined not to give people any of my money. They ain't appreciate it. I can take my money somewhere else, okay? And obviously get more and get better. And this is an actual neighborhood here. You hear people, you hear kids. That place, it was like you never seen nobody, you never heard nobody. You did people that speak like that was the first time they spoke to me. And anytime after that, oh shoot. Anytime after that, when the um the guy would see me or his wife would see me, they would hold their head down. But I still speak. Because that's them and they conscious. Not mine, I'm good. And I know that it wasn't true. But that's why it really, you know, I was so upset. And it's like, oh, four o'clock in the morning, they were making all this noise. First of all, sir, we were asleep. We were barely even walking. We were sliding around the floor. <laughs> sliding around the floors, trying not to make no noise at all. None of the time. It was really miserable living in. And I told them people that. And I can't wait. I can't wait until 
just tell me about what you call it about my deposit or whatever because I'm gonna leave them a review because I don't play. How you doing? What? what? Huh? What? I'm gonna leave the apartment complex. The name of the apartment complex is um Ascent, Ascent, whatever it is, at Mallet Creek. I mean, the worst ever. I was so uncomfortable there. My kids were so uncomfortable. I mean, it was awful. And I've never been treated like that a day in my life. Me or my kids. It was just really bad. Those people, they talk to you. Okay? I talk this off now. They talk to you any kind of way, like you're not grown like they grown. They would get smart when I would call the office, when I would go over there. Like I said, the lady Richie said, told me, well, you, well, since you don't, since you didn't listen, girl, who the hell do you think you're talking to? Who tried? It was a mess. It took everything out of my soul not to go over there, because the one time I did go over there, they were looking real scared. <laughs> Talking about well, um, someone to call you because we're just going in circles. I told her we definitely are going in circles. We definitely are. Y'all don't be scared of this cheese, man. And if you a cheese lover like me, honey, listen, we mm, mm, gotta get into it. Oh. We're going to put this in there about 30 minutes. Ain't no pretty way to do this. You just do it. Put this cheese on top, okay? And something I forgot to get. I forgot to get some Italian seasoning. So. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to use instead. Y'all think there's too much cheese? Ain't no such thing. Okay, that's that. I'm gonna take some garlic, sprinkle a little on the top, and I don't have no Italian sauce here. Or I don't want you to call it, so I'm gonna take some of this complete. You know, it ain't finished, it ain't complete till you get some of this, sprinkle it on the top. Oh, oh. Get these lashes down there. You don't want these lashes to burn. Oh, <laughs> at all, honey. And we'll be back. Okay, so, so we have the stuffed peppers in the oven. It's time to do the garlic bread. So I just got the French roll bread. Cut it on each side. I'm using this garlic bread. Let me just cut it. And my knives that I'm using are Pampered Chef. I love, love these knives. I'm going to be using this one. Cut the end. The other got a light. <sighs> Can I turn this on? Mm -hmm. So basically, two, four, the six pieces of chicken enough. I'm gonna cut this on. Mm. Take the bread. Mm. Kind of hard, y'all, because it's in the refrigerator. Too much light white to think to take it out, huh? I 
Did you say my cash out to your dad? Okay. Now, and basically, this is how we do it. And then we're going to flip it on each side. Mm. Mm. Number of hooks look good. You see, show the people. Oh! Oh! Wait, that's called again, um, like butter song? Garlic butter. Oh, garlic butter. Mm, you see that? That hot? Mm -mm. We got three minutes and 46 seconds when we take those out. This house smells so good. That's how I cook. Can't you put more? Mm. Okay. Can't you put more this one there at a time? Mm. So now this little pan. Oh, she just put another one in there. Let me show. Yep. Shall can see you. Now rock. Is you gonna cook that side right there? Mm -mm. Uh. I usually I do both sides before I put it in there, but the butter is cold because I didn't take it out. So this, these just the last ones. Then she gotta warm up. I mean, not warm up, but. Oh, let me take this chicken jacket.
It looks pretty cold in here. Okay. One minute and 16 seconds. Um, and this is... Yeah, it's right there. Um, this is how to bring it naked. This is how to help us. Oh, what do call looking? <laughs> so, basically, y'all, the moral of the story is that the devil thought he had me, thought he was going to do the most, but guess what? My God showed up and showed out as always. And it's never the last minute, it's never the wrong time, it's always on time. Remember that. God is always on time. And like in this place, I never would have thought I would live anywhere like this. I can honestly say that. Okay, so the food is almost finished. But look at that garlic bread. Cool. Look at it. You can keep 14. Boop, boop. It's almost over. Tell them how many people you cook for. And I'm cooking for. Oh, go like this. Mm, no, myself, two of my children, and maybe a few more people. Oh, look at that. Oh, this. Is the stove still hot? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. <sighs> so this how the pepper's looking. Let me see how the other. And there we have it. Stuffed peppers and garlic bread. Thank you. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.